Mrs. Tidwell, the instructional coach at Cottonwood. Today we are going to be talking about debates and how we can debate a prompt that will spark some rich conversation. I want to remind you that if you haven't listened to the read aloud on chapter six, underselling, that you need to go back into Schoology and you need to listen to chapter six before completing this mini lesson. I think it is safe to say that we oftentimes may have different positions on topics, books, or characters as our friends. But instead of seeing those moments of differences as invitations to debate, oftentimes I see you just kind of shrug them off and saying, oh, well, we disagree. I want to show you that readers don't just shrug off differences of opinion. Instead, they see these as invitations to talk and to think more. Today, I want to teach you that when different readers have different viewpoints about a book, these differences can spark a debate. In a debate, each person presents his or her position and then supports it with evidence, aiming to persuade the other person to the other side. Readers, I want to share some steps with you that would create an engaging debate. First, you need to have differences of opinion about a text you both know. But you have to have a difference of opinion if your idea is not an obvious idea that anyone reading this book would have. The idea needs to be brave. It needs to be thought-provoking so that people may have differing thoughts about it than you. We are going to practice. Let's think about whether an idea is debatable. I'll say some opinions and ask you to give me a thumbs up if you think this is an idea that could be debated. Give me a thumbs down if it is either too obvious or there wouldn't be a side on it or if it, could, it would be hard to defend with evidence. We're going to go ahead and practice. People should eat. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, no, this topic is way too obvious to be debatable. There are too many facts and research out there indicating people should eat and it is necessary to eat. There would not be too strong opinions on this topic. Kids should have a lot of homework. What do you think? Debatable? Yes, this could be open for debate because two opposite mindsets could approach this topic with evidence and research from both perspectives. Evan is upset towards Jesse. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Could we debate this? No, we couldn't debate this. There's just too strong of evidence pointing in one position more than the other. It's too obvious. Jessie depends on her brother for a lot of support. Debatable? Again, not really debatable. There's just such strong evidence that tells us that Jessie really does depend on her brother for moral support, to have her back, to help her understand friendships. What about Jessie's life isn't as hard as Evan's life. Hmm, could we debate this? Yes, we totally could. This would be open to debate because we can see both Jesse and Evan's perspective and hardships. And some of you may relate stronger to Evan's reaction in his life, or some of you may react stronger to Jesse and her, her stance on what's happening in the Lemonade War. Before you can participate in the debate, you need to decide upon your positions, whether you are for or against an idea. You know how to take positions on a baseball team. The catcher, who would be on home base, the first baseman, the second baseman, etc. These positions tell you where to stand on the field. Well, you take positions in a debate too. A thoughtful reader decides on his or her position by reviewing evidence. Take this claim. Jesse's life isn't as hard 
as Evan's life. To decide what position you want to take, pros or con, think over the book, review your notes, recall your ideas about these two characters. We'll do that quickly for now, just so you get the idea, though in real life it takes a lot more time. Do some quick research and decide where do you stand on whether Jesse's life isn't as hard as Evan's life. I'm remembering the WHJ club and the girls that were so cruel to Jesse. I'm also remembering all the pep talks Evan had with Jesse about watching out for those, for those type of girls. I think Jesse's life is as hard or harder than Evan's due to her being bullied. I know Evan is going through a hard transition wrapping his head around his sister joining his grade, but I really think Jessie has some hard obstacles that she has to face. Readers, you see that first I reviewed the evidence to decide upon my position, and then I collected evidence from the book to support my position. The evidence is not from my own ideas about Jessie's past experiences, but from the book. But some of you may have a different position than me. Some of you might think Evan's life is harder. Right now, see if you can take a position different than mine. Will you collect some evidence that Evan's life is harder than Jesse's? You will want to go back in your book and look for evidence that proves Evan is having a harder time than Jesse. Okay, time for the debate. Remember, you have to have evidence from the book to back up your opinion. We follow these steps. You take a position on how you feel. Then your first reason for this position is, and you collect evidence from your book. My evidence for that is blank. Then you follow up with a second reason why you take that position and the evidence that supports that second reason. I will model using my opinion. I take the position that Jessie's life is harder than Evan's. My first reason is she'll be moving to fourth grade and skipping a grade and she may have trouble transitioning. My evidence for that is from chapter two, when Scott makes her feel freakish for skipping a grade. And they say she's too young and just a baby. She realizes that Evan wasn't going to stand by her at school. He wasn't going to smooth the way for her what was going to be on, he was going to be on the other side with all of them looking down on her, telling everyone she didn't belong. My second reason to support this is that she has a hard time with friends and Evan doesn't. My evidence from chapter six is when the the girl Becky in her second grade class made the WHJ club and the whole class joined, only to find out that it was the We Hate Jesse club. So again, I take the position that Jessie's life is harder than Evan's because she'll be skipping a grade and it'll be a hard transition and because she has a hard time making friends. Today, as you read in your own book, I want you to think about debatable, brave ideas you could take a position on if you were asked to. You will have 20 minutes to read in your independent reading book. And then you're going to have a flip grid with a debate idea from the Lemonade War that I want you to take a position on. You will need to take a position just like we followed and you're going to have to provide one piece of evidence to support that opinion. You will respond on Flipgrid. I can't wait to hear all of your great positions. Have a great day!